Hello and welcome to an overview video of a new hidden compartment that I built into an old end table that I have. This is going to be the table we're using and I'll walk you through its functionality. So this first feature I'll show you is how to open it using coasters. Grab the pile of coasters in the bottom and pick one, but choose wisely as they're not all built the same. And what we'll do is drag the coaster over the top surface of the table in a particular spatial pattern as well as within a certain amount of time. And if that pattern is met, the motor will activate to unlock and unlatch the cabinet itself. Once the compartment opens, you can lower it down, grab whatever you want out of it, and then all you have to do is raise it, navigate it by the design of the legs, and then push up to latch it into its final position. Now it is locked in place and you'll notice these blue painter tape pieces that I've used. That's only for the purpose of this video. Now this next feature that I'm going to demonstrate is for instances when the coasters are not able to be located, either misplaced or taken. And what we're going to do is open the compartment with a very particular cadence of four knocks as you'll see here. And with those four taps in the right order, in the right amount of time, you're able to lower the compartment again, remove whatever you have stored, and once you're done, you can then just push the compartment back up. This was designed in a way to keep power consumption at a minimum, so the motor is not active during that time, and it closes passively. Okay, let's take a look on the inside. So we're going to remove the top temporarily. And what you'll see initially are the two acrylic scissors that I made to help raise and lower the platform. You'll see magnet holders for cabinet hardware, and that keeps the bottom from falling. You'll see some magnetic sensors on the side. You'll see the Arduino, a servo motor, a voltage regulator, and a microphone. Now what happens is these magnetic sensors mounted on the side need to be activated in a particular order to open the compartment. When the servo motor spins, you'll see these two latches here they need to be pulled inward and that will allow them to release from the locks. So in summary we can open this either with the pattern of moving the coaster on top or with a knock pattern. Let's take a look at it working on the inside. Now to see the whole thing in action we'll take, we'll take our coasters here we'll choose the right one to use, we'll use this one and we'll go through the pattern of basically holding it here, holding it here, holding it here and then the motor will open allowing it to fall down, as you can see. And basically, once, if you want more access than this, you can navigate around the design of the legs and drop the whole thing down. At that time, you can then store whatever you want in there, whether or not it's money, keys, or whatever. And then we'll bring it back up. We'll navigate the legs again, latch it on the cabinets for alignment purposes, and then come on both sides and pass the locks. So now we're locked again. Same thing is going to be true for the microphone activation. Now the beauty of the design of the coffee table here is that there are no indications, no surface markings, no buttons or wires emanating from the table. It just looks like an old beat up end table in the hallway. You can see here on the bottom that everything is totally flushed mount. You can't see the surface panel at all. And if we go from underneath, you can also see once this wood is stained on the bottom, it looks just like it was designed with the piece of furniture itself. So, in summary, we have a fun new hiding spot inside of an unsuspected piece of furniture. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you'd like to see a full instructional video. I'd be happy to post that, along with the final pictures of the stained wood in the enclosed circuit.